but I don't, like you you got into this for why like I, I I definitely like for me it's not something I would do like uh, in the city uh -huh. we don't think about anything except we put our food scraps and we divide our plastics and all that sort of stuff but what what got you into this well I've been driving garbage trucks since 1980 when I was driving uh, um, in Vancouver and I was always stunned at how much perfectly good stuff we were taking to the landfill. Right. And that included food scraps. It's amazing how much food we take to the dump and, and dispose of. And though we, a lot of municipalities now have uh, curbside organics pickup, um, in some ways that encourages a lot of wasting because it's out of sight, out of mind. It, we just right. dump it in the bin. That's what I do. That's right. So, yeah. so what we're trying to, as a cause and effect thing, people are buying compost. They, drive it in their car, go down to uh, the store, they pick up their compost, they put it in their garden, their, a truck comes to pick up their bin with their food scraps, and it's really a disconnect. So if we can kind of just take one of those things, components out of there, and we don't put it in, a, in a, a bin at the curb, and we make our own compost here, then we don't have to drive our car to go buy a bag of compost, and now we know what's in our compost. So I'm being a good guy. You're being a really good guy. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's great. I, um, I, I just remembered that you, uh, you were talking to me the other day, and I was in the restaurant, right? And I'm sitting there, and I looked at the waiter, and I went, hey, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna pick this up for Buddy. Look what I got. Oh, snacks, I love snacks. It's not snacks. No. Ah, your food scraps in a restaurant. Yeah. So I, I asked them to bring me this. Is that the right thing to do? Why not? Even though it's just bones and meat? Why not? Is that compost? That, that's compostable. Really? In the drawer of composter. Yes, it so is. So I did a good thing again. You did a good thing. You're learning. Wow, You're learning. I am learning. Okay, so we just stick those in there? Or do we have to cut them up? So or? we've got some of your food scraps here. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is, you, you said, what can we do? Look at your composting like you look at making a home-cooked meal. Okay. Right? So you've got your food scraps, you can put your bones in there, mm -hmm. and that's your organic matter, that's your nitrogen. Right. So now you need some carbon because that's the way we're mimicking nature here. Okay. So we've got some uh, wood pellets and we've got some of your sawdust, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, that came from our shop. Yeah. Okay, so you can't have any varnishes or veneer no, no, on that? No, it's just No plain. cedar. Okay. So Why not cedar? Because it's got that um, microbe in there okay. that protects the wood and it, oh, it okay. actually works against the composting process. Oh, we don't want that. This stuff is basically um, wax-free wood pellets that you put in your wood stove yep. and it's basically the alder, um, fur, that so, kind of stuff. So I just take this and pour it in? No, no, oh. no, no. It's all like a home-cooked meal, right? Oh, so okay. it's all proportions. All right. So for the amount of food scraps you have in here, right. what we could do is basically take like a quarter cup and that'll be your carbon input. Okay. And then what we'll do is take that, maybe even a little sprinkle of, uh, or a smidge of sawdust. Like salt? Yes. Okay. And you've got some coffee grounds here. Yeah, from and this your, morning. And your filter, is that? Uh, that's just a plain old paper filter. There's no color in it. There, so that's Is that good? good? That's really good. Oh. The ones without bleach are, are the best. Okay. And even if you get your food containers right. and they're, they don't have a plastic film on them, you can cut that up and throw it in there as well. Oh, okay. So, but you're saying what you're saying to me then, if I understand this right, mm -hmm. is it's a recipe, and you can only use proportions to proportions. That's correct. correct? That's correct. So there's your nitrogen and there's your carbon. The, the missing ingredient yeah. is oxygen. Oh, okay. So you need oxygen when you're making compost. Right. So the rotation of the drum. Okay puts the oxygen Which in. we haven't talked about yet. That's right. So and so I have to rotate this thing once in a while. You pretty well daily, if you're feeding it daily, okay. you put it in daily. Okay. And, and what you're gonna do is have your mix, your right. proportion, and what's gonna happen here is you're gonna start to see nature take, take over. You're gonna start to feel heat coming out of there. Okay. And it's really not a complicated process. If and it's gonna to start to heat up the microbes and the bacteria and and, and the, everything like that that mimics nature, yeah. we'll start breaking this down rapidly because the composer is insulated. Oh, so this okay. will even work like to minus 10, minus 15. Wow. And yeah, that's a good composter. <laughs> it is a good composter. So it, so if we look at this from the perspective of I'm feeding the stuff into the composter. Uh, There's two compartments in there, and one of the things that we can oh. we always have a fresh batch going. Right? Well, I, I mean, not that I'm interrupting you or anything, but right. this is my dirt from my garden. That's it was. I, oh, I paid for this. You so you bought that. Yeah. So this is the dirt or composted soil from my composter. Wow. And I kind of 
I think that yes, that's nicer. But anyway, <laughs> and I, I shouldn't say that. This, this was really good dirt. I mean, right. You know, but, but you had to buy it. I had to buy it. You had to get now I don't have to buy it. That's anymore. right. And 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 the nice thing about making your own compost uh, again, and I can't emphasize this enough, is you know what's going in there. Right. So it and and once you start composting a byproduct of that or as an intangible, is you start realizing that you're not so wasteful with food anymore. Right, you start to save money. So there's a couple of residual effects out of this that are positive, right? Okay. So. Oh, so there's a lot of good reasons to come. There is. There right? is. Right. Well.